What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Todrick. Thank you so much for coming back to yet another week of Dance Moms Recap. This week's episode of Dance Moms was a little bit controversial, but first, at the top of the pyramid, was Maddie. Go, Maddie! You guys all know that I'm a huge Maddie fan, so I was very happy that she climbed back to the top of that pyramid like Rafiki at the top of Pride Rock. This week, the kids are doing a group number called Silver Spoon. It's supposed to just be about the finest qualities of life. And Mackenzie's doing a solo where she looks adorable. Uh, Maddie's doing a solo called Helen Keller about like a rag doll and she's like locked in a room and she can't see, she can't hear, she can't do anything. It's a really cool, unique, and um, innovative number. Also, Maddie and Chloe are doing a duet. Nia's also doing a solo. Ah! Okay, so the parents go back up into the little holding green room area and Christy is kind of upset because somehow Abby found out that Chloe went to the movies the other day and wasn't at rehearsal. And Melissa ends up telling them like, I told her, yeah, I did, because I was upset. And I feel bad for Melissa sometimes, but she keeps just digging herself into a deeper hole. Then comes the huge issue, which I still don't know if I believe everything that was said on the show today, but apparently, rumor has it that Melissa knew that the CD was going to skip. Everybody's kind of implying that Abby purposely remixed the CD so they would skip last week so that Maddie could look like she was so professional and she just kept dancing through, which would then enable her to win first place. Then comes another issue. For the spoon number this week, uh, everybody's wearing different colored costumes, but because there's five people, uh, two people are wearing a pink dress, two people wearing a blue dress, and one person is wearing a green dress. And Paige is the one that comes out wearing the green dress, and it fits her perfectly, and Chloe's wearing the pink dress. Abby is not having it, and she makes them switch costumes, but the green dress doesn't really fit Chloe, and the pink dress doesn't really fit Paige, and so everybody's just a little bit upset because it's obvious that whoever's wearing that green dress is going to stand out, and Abby is not going to let that be Paige. This week, they're going to energy dance competition in Michigan, and somehow, some way, someone that works for the competition gives Abby some inside information and lets her know that two teams have specifically come there with intentions of beating the Abby Lee Miller Dance Studio. Abby is not having it. So the kids go into the competition knowing that they got to step it up from last week, which is going to be hard because they basically swept the competition away. Maddie and Chloe's duet. <laughs> Sorry, I've seen a minute. It was just so touching, you know? What the f airplane? The group number was a little bit, you know, like Disney-ish and stuff, but I personally liked it. All the parents were kind of like, this is whack, but I thought they looked adorable. And it was also cool to see them do a different dynamic, something a little bit more classy and a little bit more classic. Maddie's number, as usual, was awesome. She sold it, she didn't forget any of the choreography. Kudos to you, Maddie. Nia came out and did a great job. I always like the look on Holly's face because Holly is like literally the most supportive parent that you could have. She loves Nia whether she comes in first place or 101st place. But let me tell you who stole the show. Who stole the show? Who, who, who stole the show? Mackenzie came out and was literally the cutest thing ever. She had flowers and vines all wrapped around her, just like a little chrysanthemum. And she went out there and she twirled and she tumbled and she flipped and she spinned and she did everything that she needed to do to win those judges' attention. And when it came time for awards, Mackenzie came in first place. Melissa cried for the first time with Mackenzie, and it's just really coming out to be that she's going to be able to be a little Maddie herself. Nia got ninth place, which was awesome for her. Maddie Solo came in fourth place. The group number came in second place, and uh, also the duet between Maddie and Chloe came in second place. So all in all, basically the group that came there with intentions of beating Abby Miller came there and beat Abby Miller. <laughs> and Abby Miller was not happy about that. At the end, after the competition was all said and done, Kelly went and talked to uh, Abby and was like, I just don't like the way you're treating my daughter. Why couldn't you have just let her wear the green costume? Why couldn't you have let her just stick out for once? And Abby, of course, was like, Kelly, it made more sense for her to be in the middle. You know that. I am not trying to intentionally hurt any of the kids. And whether that's true or not, who knows? Whether she cheated for Maddie or not last week, who knows? That's still a little questionable. I don't know. All I know is I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week um, because I saw the preview for it at the end and it's looking a little juicy. Until then, I'm Todrick and you're watching FYI. Peace. Oh.
make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to Dance On's channel. And please, do it now!